main takeaways, discover the power of Stoicism to lead a fulfilled life. Choose happiness, embrace change, navigate life's challenges, take risks, live presently, avoid overthinking, follow passions, and cultivate a strong mindset for a richer existence. Life is like a never-ending journey, full of twists and turns, highs and lows. No matter who you are, you're bound to face challenges along the way. Each situation presents us with choices, and every step we take is a test in itself. The decisions we make shape our path, leading us towards different destinations. That's why it's essential to pay attention to the experiences of others, both the wise and the inexperienced. Imagine sitting under a tree, just like a sage from an ancient tale. People come to him, curious about his wisdom. They ask him, how did you become so wise? His answer is simple, yet profound. Because I learned from fools. He explains that by observing the mistakes and missteps of others, he's been able to avoid making the same errors himself. In our own lives, we can adopt this approach of constant observation. Every moment is an opportunity to learn and grow. By paying attention to the choices and outcomes of those around us, we can fast-track our own learning process and avoid unnecessary pitfalls. This isn't about being better than others. It's about positioning ourselves ahead of the curve and maximizing our potential. Life is a never-ending classroom, brimming with lessons waiting to be learned. As humans, it's our duty to embrace the role of perpetual students. The moment we think we've learned it all is the moment we stagnate. Growth comes from humility and openness to new experiences. So let's embark on this journey of self-discovery together. Let's observe, reflect and learn from both the wise and the foolish. By doing so, we'll not only enrich our own lives, but also contribute to the collective wisdom of humanity. After all, in the grand scheme of things, we're all just students in the school of life. So what are some of the lessons and principles that men should keep in mind? Lesson 1. Happiness is a personal choice. It's like having your favorite ice cream flavor. Only you can decide what makes your taste buds dance. Sure, life serves up a smorgasbord of experiences, but whether they leave a sweet aftertaste or a sour note is largely up to you. Picture this. You're the captain of your own emotional ship, navigating the vast sea of feelings. Just as you wouldn't expect a delivery of happiness from Amazon Prime, don't wait around for someone else to hand it to you on a silver platter. Now, let's talk relationships. Think of happiness as your favorite song. It's great to share it, but you shouldn't rely on someone else to play it for you. Expecting your partner to be your one-man band of bliss is like asking a dolphin to climb a tree. It's just not in their skill set. Spoiler alert, it often leads to more heartache than harmony. Remember, your happiness is like a boomerang. It comes back to you. Take rainy days, for example. Some people see them as nature's way of shedding tears, while others dance in the puddles like it's Woodstock 69. It's all about perspective, my friend. And speaking of perspectives, let's chat about social media. Sure, it's like a virtual party where everyone's invited, but don't be fooled by the glitter and confetti. Behind the selfies and hashtags lies a dark alley of comparison and FOMO, fear of missing out. Sometimes logging off is the best way to tune into your own happiness frequency. Lesson 2. Everything is temporary. Imagine life as a roller coaster. It has its ups and downs, twists and turns. Sometimes you're soaring high, enjoying the wind in your hair, and other times you're plummeting down, clinging to your seat. But here's the thing. No matter how exhilarating or terrifying the ride gets, it doesn't last forever. So when you're on top of the world, soaking in all the goodness, appreciate it fully. Take a moment to pause and be grateful for the joy and success you're experiencing. Whether it's landing your dream job, 
finding love, or simply having a fantastic day, relish in it. But as we all know, life isn't all sunshine and rainbows. There are moments when everything seems to go wrong. Your boss might chew you out at work, your relationship might hit a rough patch, or you might face unexpected setbacks. In these times, it's crucial to keep your cool. Sure, it's easy to get swept away by emotions when things aren't going your way. Anger, frustration, and despair might threaten to consume you, but don't let them. Hold on to your inner strength and keep a clear head. It's okay to feel those emotions, but don't let them dictate your actions. Lesson three, life isn't fair. We're all dealt different hands in this grand game of life. Some people seem to start with a royal flush, while others are left with nothing but a pair of twos. But here's the kicker. No matter what cards you're dealt, the responsibility for making the most of them rests squarely on your shoulders. Picture this. You're dreaming of a life filled with happiness, success, and all those good vibes. Well, guess what? More often than not, those dreams are waiting for you on the other side of the hurdles you're dodging. It's like that old saying your grandma used to throw around, no pain, no gain. Yeah, it's cheesy, but it's true. Happiness isn't just going to fall into your lap while you sit around complaining about how unfair life is. So, what's the game plan? Simple, stop griping and start grinding. Take action, my friend. The key to unlocking that dream life of yours is to roll up your sleeves and get to work. Sure, it might be uncomfortable at first. Change always is, but trust me, it's worth it. Lesson four, taking risks in life. You see, playing it safe all the time might feel comfy, like snuggling up in your favorite blanket, but trust me, the real magic happens when you step out of your comfort zone. Now, let's bring it down to earth. Picture this. You're crushing hard on someone. They make your heart flutter, but the mere thought of talking to them makes your palms sweaty. Sound familiar? Well, here's the thing. If you want to win them over, you've got to take the plunge. It's like jumping into a pool on a scorching hot day. Scary at first but oh so refreshing once you're in. Now, I won't sugarcoat it. Taking risks can be downright nerve-wracking. It's like riding a roller coaster with your eyes closed, exhilarating, but also a tad terrifying. But here's the kicker. Nothing worth having comes easy. So, my friend, it's time to put on your bravery pants, embrace the unknown, and watch your life transform before your very eyes. Lesson five, the power of being present. Ever catch yourself drifting off into memories of the past or getting lost in dreams of the future? You're not alone. Many of us have this knack for time traveling in our minds, but guess what? While it's cool to plan ahead and reminisce about the good old days, spending too much time there can be like getting stuck in quicksand. Now onto the past. Ah, those sweet memories. They're like little time capsules filled with laughter, joy, and maybe a sprinkle of nostalgia. But here's the scoop. Living in the past won't bring those moments back. Nope, not even a tiny bit. Instead, it's like trying to hug a ghost. You're left with a longing for something that's no longer there. Ouch, here's the real deal, purpose. Yep. That's the secret source to living life to the max. Having a purpose gives your days meaning, like adding sprinkles to a cupcake. It makes everything sweeter. Without it, you're like a ship without a compass, drifting aimlessly in a sea of time. Lesson six, the trap of overthinking. You know, when your brain starts running wild with ideas, analyzing every tiny detail until you're in a full-blown thought tornado. Yeah, that's the one. So, here's the deal. As we grow older, our minds love to overanalyze stuff. Seriously, it's like our brains have become professional detectives, constantly on the lookout for clues and hidden meanings in everything. 
Someone forgets to say goodbye at work. Suddenly we're convinced they hate us. But here's the kicker. Most of the time, it's all in our heads. That person probably just had something else on their mind. But here's the thing about overthinking. It can really mess with your mojo. It's like a sneaky little gremlin that creeps into your mind and starts whispering doubts and fears. And before you know it, you're stuck in a maze of worry and anxiety. All because you let your thoughts run wild. But fear not, my friend. There's a way out of this overthinking labyrinth and it's called action. Yep, you heard me right. Instead of letting those pesky thoughts take over, get up and do something. It could be as simple as going for a walk, hitting the gym, or even just doing a little dance in your living room. The point is to shake things up and break free from the cycle of overthinking. See, the thing about action is that it's like kryptonite for overthinking. It distracts your mind, gives you a sense of control, and helps you focus on the present moment. Plus, it feels pretty darn good to take charge of your thoughts and kick that overthinking gremlin to the curb. Lesson 7. Follow your passion. Imagine this. You're into coding, right? It's your jam. Now imagine someone comes along and tells you, hey, forget about coding. You should totally be an engineer. Sounds kind of off, doesn't it? That's because it is. See, when you're passionate about something like coding, trying to force yourself into a different field like engineering just doesn't feel right. It's like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. It's just not gonna work. Your career isn't just something you do for eight hours a day. It's a big old chunk of your life. So why spend all that time doing something that doesn't light your fire? It's like wearing shoes that don't fit uncomfortable and kinda pointless. Instead, focus on stuff that gets you pumped up. That's what following your passion is all about. Lesson 8. Your power is in your mind. Your mind is like that buddy who can either lift you up or bring you down. Seriously, it's that powerful. The big life lesson here? It's all about your mindset, how you view and approach life. You're the boss of your destiny, no pointing fingers allowed. Your thoughts? They're the magic ingredient determining whether you soar or stumble. So, train your mind to be your biggest cheerleader. Trust me, it's a lifelong partnership. Ever heard the phrase, you are your own worst critic? Well, let's flip that script. Your mind should be your biggest fan, rooting for you like you're the star player in your own movie. Successful people? They've got this down pat. And guess what? You can too. So what's the big takeaway? Your mind. It's your ultimate game changer. Master it. And you're on your way to a life filled with success and happiness. Oh, and don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and stay tuned for more mind-blowing content. Catch you later.